Hello, my name is Lauren Broom and I'm your instructor with Space Coast Pool School. And today we're going to talk about Langler Saturation Index or water balance. It's very, very important to have balanced water. If you don't get anything else from the Certified Pool Operator course, I want you to walk away understanding how to calculate water balance and making sure your water is balanced. There can be so many implications if you do not have water balanced. So it's taking all the individual puzzle pieces and putting them together into the big puzzle that is water balance that will help you maintain your pool healthy and safe for the people that use it. So ideal balance water, as you see circled below, is negative 0.3 to positive 0.5. If you're above 0.5, positive 0.5, you have scaling over stuff water. The water is going to scale everything it touches, the pool surface, but also all your equipment like heater elements, your impeller, but also salt chlorine generators will be scaled up and it won't make chlorine. And so if it can't make chlorine, you won't have enough disinfectant in the water. So that becomes an issue along with all the other issues. If you're past the negative 0.3, you have, as you see circled there, corrosive, hungry water. It's gonna eat away at everything. It's hungry. It wants to eat away everything the water touches, pool surface, uh, pool equipment, but your salt chlorine generators as well. So we don't want that. We don't wanna have this unbalanced water that will have issues. So let's go ahead and read our problem at the top. Calculate saturation index for water with total alkalinity of 100 ppm, a temperature of 84 degrees Fahrenheit, pH of 7.2, a calcium hardness of 200 ppm, and total dissolved solids, TDS, of 2,250 ppm. So you can see there I'm circling the um, Langler saturation index equation we're going to use total alkalinity factor plus the pH from the problem plus the calcium hardness factor plus the temperature factor minus the TDS factor. And you get all these factors from the boxes below. So how we fill in that formula is going back to the word problem at the top. And you're going to go ahead and fill in each of those things in the formula based on what is in the word problem. So it's we're taking all these puzzle pieces that we have in the word problem, putting them together. So you look at your total alkalinity in the word problem, 100 ppm. Go down below where I'm circling the total alkalinity factor and you go into that box and you find the 100 there and that 2.0 you're going to put into the formula right there plus the pH from the problem. Go back to the problem. The pH is a 7.2, so put that there. Plus our calcium hardness factor. Go back to the problem. Our calcium hardness is 200 ppm. Go to the box below on circling. Find the 200 ppm and use the 1.9. Write that there in the formula. Plus our temperature factor. Our temperature is 84 degrees Fahrenheit. Go down below into the temperature factor box, find the 84, and you're going to put the 0.7 there. Minus the TDS factor. you got to go to the box below, and our TDS in the word problem is 2,250. So total dissolved solids is everything that's in the water, that's dissolved in the water. So you're going to fill in that TDS factor from that TDS factor below based on 2,250. Go in the box below that will be circled. And then you'll go down into that TDS factor box. And this is the new part for some of the CPOs. The TDS factors have been expanded. So you're going to go down to that TDS level of 1,501 to 2,900. And you're going to use a 12.3 and put that in the formula. Now you're going to add everything up that I'm circling here. So the 2 plus the 7.2 plus the 1.9 plus the 0 0.7. Add that up on your calculator and you should get an answer of 11.8. 
Now hit minus on your calculator and put the 12.3 in and then hit your equal sign. And you get an answer of negative 0.5. Now you're going to take that and put it down below. And you're just past the negative 0.3, which means it's not balanced water. You have corrosive, hungry water. So what does this mean? Beyond calculating it for the test, why don't you go back to the word problem and you'll see that you could pro you always want to look at total alkalinity first, followed by your pH, followed by calcium hardness. That's the order you make changes. So if you went and you looked at the alkalinity, you say, oh, that's perfect between 80 and 120. So now look at your pH. You could raise that pH up a little bit closer to 7.5. And that calcium hardness is just at the bottom of the range. So I would probably raise that calcium hardness level up a little bit to maybe 300. And if you recalculate your water balance, you would now probably be in that balanced ideal water area. And that's calculating saturation index. And we're going to do another example of saturation index. So let's go ahead and read our word problem. Calculate the saturation index for water with a total alkalinity of 100 ppm, temperature of 104 degrees Fahrenheit, a pH of 7.7, .7, a calcium hardness of 400 ppm, and a total dissolved solids or TDS of 3,500 ppm. So I'm going to circle our formula we're going to use down below, total alkalinity factor, plus our pH factor, plus our calcium hardness factor. So we're gonna fill this formula in. Total alkalinity is 100. Go down to the box below for total alkalinity factor. Find the 100 on there, and we're gonna use the 2.0 plus our pH from the problem. The pH is 7.7, .7, so write that in. Plus our calcium hardness is 400 ppm. So you gotta come down to that middle box I'm circling there, come down and find the 400 and we're going to put 2.2 right there plus our temperature factor our temperature is 104 degrees come down below into that other box for temperature factor and find you're between 94 and 105 you always bump up on your factor no matter what you always bump up so you want to use that 105 as your factor so remember, always bump up for your factor. So we're going to put that 105 up there in the formula. So we're going to put the 0 0.9 as the factor for the temperature factor right there. Minus our TDS factor. Our TDS is 3,500 ppm. So we're going to go down to the TDS factor box, which again has been updated. And you're going to find the range TDS level 2901 to 5500 which means we're going to use a 12.4 and put that right there. Now you're going to add everything up that I'm circling on your calculator. The 2 plus the 7.7 .7 plus the 2.2 .2 plus the 0 0.9 and if you add that all up on your calculator you should get 12.8. Now hit the minus on your calculator and you should get an answer of positive 0.4. And if we go put this on our scale, we actually have ideal balanced water. So if we wanted to make it a little bit more balanced, we would look at our alkalinity first and we find it's perfect. So we'll look at our pH of 7.7 .7, and we could probably lower that down a little bit it's like a 7.5, lower that calcium hardness down a little bit to maybe 300, and that would get us closer to zero on our ideal balance water. And that's, in a nutshell, Langler saturation index or water balance.